The Emergency Operations Center is open in St. Tammany Parish as officials there are preparing for the possibility of Gordon impacting their area. And Doug Mouton joins us live from Slidell and people are still getting their sandbags just in case of any flooding. Doug? Yeah, a lot of sandbags, Natalie. We are in the easternmost St. Tammany Parish. You can see the Twin Span Bridge over my shoulder. Lake Pontchartrain has been very calm now. Just about three minutes ago, a cloud came through. So that's why I put the rain jacket on. We have not seen much rain yet. What we have seen all day, though, is high waters across the parish. But I want to say these are sort of normally high waters and not what you would call problematically high, at least at this point. Parish leaders, of course, watch them. It's a waiting game here like it is everywhere else across the Gulf Coast right now. But people in St. Tammany are definitely getting ready in a big way. The busiest of our sandbag locations on the North Shore, the Airport Road barn. Each person is allowed to get 25 sandbags. The line of cars on Airport Road has been consistent and long for two days now with people just getting ready. We live off of um, Thompson Road, but real close to St. Genevieve. And sometimes the water comes up from the ditch. It'll come all the way up to the front, you know, to the front of the house. So we want to be ready just in case. Are you say you would you say you're worried about this one or just trying to be smart? Um, half and half, you know, half and half. Uh, it seems like it's going over toward the Mississippi coast, but here in Slidell, you know, we ain't getting prepared. We got our water and everything. Got all the food, got my generator ready to go. So we're ready if it does come this way. Just being smart. Just being smart, being prepared. And that's what we've heard from a lot of people out here. The parish estimates that as of right now, they have given out somewhere in the neighborhood of 40,000 sandbags to people who are, again, just trying to be smart. Now, coming up in the next hour, we will take you to the Madisonville Lakefront, actually not the lakefront, Madisonville, along the Chifuncta River, where they will be watching those river levels very closely over the next day or so. For now, reporting live in Slidell, Doug Mouton, Eyewitness News.